Yeah. Quite a lot your analogy of me on the Premier League TV the, the other day. Uh, me. I did my piece for. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do? Premier League TV, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Premier League TV. Mm. Yeah. Have you forgot? Was that that unimpressive? No, it was whether I said something good or bad, I can't remember. <laughs> Why were you worried? Yeah. You didn't say anything bad, you're alright. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. <laughs> What's the start? That's. Uh, it put a value on that room. <clears throat> the start of uh, recovery, I would say, back-to-back uh, -back wins, and with the performance, both in and out of possession today and, and out of possession gave us the platform for victory uh, and then the, the ask of better quality in the final third came today with two outstanding pieces of quality first was Wilfred Skoll with the ball, the diagonal ball, precision pass taken on his chest, bang in the back of the net and then the top goal of the of certainly our season. I don't think anybody will ever beat that one. I'm not sure anybody in the Premier League will beat that one today. Of uh, Andros Townsend running from his own half, um, dribbling all the way into the opposition's box and and uh, just seeing West Brom off then with the 2-0. And, uh, and that's been um, a great lift for us all because we've got both sides of the game right today. Basics in place, nullified the opposition's attacks limit them to very few chances on their own ground, kept the crowd quiet and punished them when we got the opportunity. Andros came off afterwards and changed his shirt? He had blood on it. He oh, cut okay. his hand for some reason, I don't know how. So he had to come off to, to change his shirt. And he looked absolutely shattered from the it, run. Uh, yeah, yeah, I thought we were going to have to give him some oxygen, but he was all right. Um, I thought he worked extremely... In fact, all the players are working... Working, uh, working hard, and I think that they're working hard without really knowing it today because the pressure's coming off them. They're relieving themselves of all that pressure they put themselves under um, for most of this season. And when you get results, that pressure lifts, and you're you're running around with with the more freedom, and you're not realising how much running you're doing because you're actually enjoying it that little bit more. And and the lads, you know, deserve to enjoy what they've done today. Two central defenders were outstanding for the second week. And so well, as you know, I said what turns it around is clean sheets, you know, and the and the, the three victories I've had have, have all been clean sheet victories and and uh, where we scored the first goal and that's how important it is. Those two elements are critical uh, wherever you are in the league and uh, I think that uh, those two particularly today um, were really, really solid and uh, obviously uh, Mama's... Um, you know, not played a game of football for a long time. That's his first two Premier League games this season. And, uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to him carrying on. And James Tompkins, again, didn't put a foot wrong. And so that gave us, like I said, that security at the back and platform to go on and win this game. Um, I saw Christian Benteke seemed to get a bit frustrated, got himself booked. Because he hadn't scored, that's what he's... he's he, he wants to score, you know, we want to get him a goal if we can, but... You know, at the end of the day, he's extremely happy by the fact that we're winning. But, he, you know, he is frustrated because he wants to score, like, you know. Um, he had his chance, the corner, first half, mm -hmm. free header, you know. Uh, it's not easy to get too many chances here against West Brom, so when you get them, you've got to take them. Uh, I have to say, my heart went in my mouth a little bit when Andros missed that that chance um, where Ben Foster saved it when we slid a beautiful ball in behind the centre-half. Uh, and then Andros pops up with, a, you know, that outstanding goal, so... Yes, we're uh, we're delighted with the uh, the overall performance and. So, um, Christian, Christian and um, um, Johnny Evans, I think they clash of heads. Yeah. Um, I, I, it looks like Christian's all right to me. I just want to check, but also I've had a suggestion there doesn't seem to be some afters going on from from Evans or anything. Has he complained? Has he said anything? It's a pretty soft game if there's no afters anymore. <laughs> if you want to know about afters, have a chat with me later and I'll tell you what real afters are. Like, I mean, I'll tell you about how I used to talk about the hospital menu. You know, and how you couldn't sprint very quick when you get kicked, like you mean. So that afters, if there's afters, there's afters. If you get wound up by afters, you shouldn't be playing in a professional game.
Uh, no. Why? Just because he said a lot of things that were quite provocative. Well, that's okay. I don't think I tell my players not to read the, the outside world, really, because we're in a position where if the outside world's affect you, good or bad, it's not the right thing to do at the moment. We need to only listen to what we're saying internally and then go out and do our talking on the field. Sam, there was uh, a few weeks ago, there was a few people saying you looked like a beaten man. You don't look like, look like a beaten man now anyway, do you? Well, we're not safe yet, so I'll answer that one when, we're, when we're, we've secured our Premier League status, like, you know, but it's slightly got under my skin, I must admit, but, you know, um, hopefully I'll have my day when we're safe. Sam, okay. is it a, a Wolves fan? It must be nice coming back to West Brom and, and uh, taking three points. Right. Yeah. It's really got nothing to do with whether I'm a Wolves fan or not. It's just me coming here and, and making sure Crystal Palace try and secure three very precious points. OK, guys, thank what you. Injuries? Ankle twist, ankle yeah, ligaments. Is it bad or...? Not too good. Oh. Well, at least we've got two, we've got two weeks. I, I would find it difficult to think he'll be fit in two weeks, but it yeah. might be three, three and the beach will be all right. Okay. Cheers, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.